Going here. Oh my god, we got a level. Let's do it. Hello there, everybody. This is Siwap the Plant One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Unleashed. Now we got more Warthog. Hooray! So, anyway, last time, uh, we got some exploring done in this brand new continent called Empire City, or New York City, or whatever you want to call it. And we did some extra stuff in the full entrance stage of Apatil, so now we're going to be going around going through Skyscraper Scamper Night to see if we can find anything related to Gaia Temples. Which is probably not going to happen, but hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do about that? Of course, this being in a... wait, hold on. Of course, with this being an exclusive stage, of course, of course, this is going to have uh, exclusive music as well. Like uh, this uh, nighttime theme of Skyscraper Scamper. But, oh boy, just wait until we get to the daytime. This is the whole prospect of it all. Just wait until you get to the daytime. It's all worth it. I'm going to make it all worth your while. Yes, indeed. All right, so let's kill you. Uh, yeah, be warned about this level, by the way, because it's going to have a lot, and I mean a lot of these uh, bouncing things that you're going to have to bounce on and stuff in order to get past certain sections of the level. So just warning you right now, this level contains a lot of that. So you're going to have to be very, very careful while I'm here. Also break that thing. Because apparently, in Empire City, electrical things make it possible for uh, things to be shocked. Hello, where where does the city permit this, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Empire City has those, you know. Just like Sonic has highways with loop-de-loops, you know. You remember that speed highway? You remember that Sonic Adventure? Yeah, you do remember that Sonic Adventure and all that, and all that baloney. Which is actually good baloney, by the way. I should probably LP that at the time. But, uh, anyway. Before I get more sidetracked with more stupid stuff that I can talk about, which is probably more interesting than the level itself. Ooh, snippety snarp. Uh, of course there are Sun and Moon Medals to get, and of course, you gotta get them, because you need them. Ah, 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 and... There I go. <laughs> and there I go. Of course. <laughs> yep. At least I got the medal. Yay. Alright, let's try this again. And of course, you get to listen to the awesomeness that is Skyscraper Scamper Night. It's a nice little, uh, you know, jazzy theme with the bunch. In fact, a lot of the Werehog's music is actually pretty jazzy, I'm not gonna lie. Well, then again, the Werehog is all about jazz. Yes, long before Mario got into the, to the realms of live music. And why can't I balance on this thing? There I go. Yeah, this is really stupid, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, just, uh, as you're moving along, be aware of the camera change, by the way, or the camera shift. Because it'll cause you to, like, fall off if you're not careful enough. And, of course, I don't believe you can stand on this for too long. Because if I think you, if you stand on it for too long, you die, and that's not very good. That's not very good design, period! Yeah. It, 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 it kind of isn't, really. Not really. Nope. But whatever, I'm not gonna do any critical attacks on these fools. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve the wrath. Of everything. Uh, now I'm trying to find a... a metal anywhere. Is there... I don't think there is. Nope. Yeah, of course, I have to be on the lookout for metals because... This is, again, none of the one of those levels where I don't know where everything is. And, yep, there are these buttholes. So, um, so not only do you get your mix of Dark Gaia creatures, but you also have your mix of Egg Fighters as well. Which, again, pretty boring robots, I have to say, Egghead. Eggman, why do, you, why do you have to make these? Why you make these? Not very interesting. At least I like the... At least in Sonic 06, I think I can... I think I can commend it for being cool, but... But that was not the real Eggman, goddammit. The real Eggman first first appeared in Sonic Colors, man. <laughs> or, rather, or rather, the Eggman that we know and love today. Not the Sonic Boom Eggman, just regular Eggman in general. 
Yeah, I know. I have to keep universes wh with where they belong. Of course, the real Eggman first appeared in Sonic Colors, where they where they finally went back to the egg ponds and stuff from Sonic Heroes. Yeah, in Sonic 06, they they were like, I don't know, not cartoonishly looking robots. Oh, by the way, I hate this part. <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, I hate this part because, well, you can't grab onto those, of course. You can't grab onto spikes because spikes are terrible. And these striped things, I don't like them. Because of the simple fact that, you know, you're on this really weird camera angle and stuff. And by the way, if you're if you were yelling at my computer screen for like having the same amount of lives as I did in that last cut, well, ah, well, you'd be lying. <laughs> well, you'd be a thing because you didn't realize this, but actually, lives respawn. Yes, lives do indeed respawn. So, yeah, they're not just gone forever; they respawn. Like I keep saying. So you can literally have unlimited tries at any given level or any given checkpoint where you died last time. And that was bullshit. Thank God I get to hear the Warhawk scream every single time I die. Am I right? Am I right? Sonic Unleashed players know what I mean? Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. No, you don't know what I mean because you haven't played this. How did that even happen? Okay, let's try this again. Alright, cool. At least they give you the common courtesy to have a checkpoint here. That's at the very least good. Now, I really don't like this part. Because it makes me confused. Yeah, just make sure you hold the controller, control stick still. Or at least the left stick still when the camera shift happens. Seriously, do it. Because that camera shift is really going to annoy the ever-loving ha out of you. Seriously, it will. I'm not, I'm not doing it, but, or whatever. I, I don't know whatever the heck that language that was, but... Yeah, just, just make sure it doesn't annoy you like that. At least you have practice. Now I'm gonna have to do critical attacks in order to keep my score up. Because again, I died a bunch of times trying to get back here. I'm starting to question my performance in this. <laughs> like, I'm normally not that bad, I swear to God. I'm not. But I'm making this seem like more bad than it actually is. Honestly. I don't know what's wrong with me. Or my playing skills of this game. But whatever. At least with the Sky Chase section, it was understand- uh, Yeah, you know- like, back, way back when in part 3, when I was doing terrible at the Sky Chase minigame in Unleashed, and yeah, I'm beyond the boundaries, what of it. Uh, yeah, remember in part 3, when I, when I was doing, like, horrible at that minigame? For realsies, for realsies, you don't remember that? Okay. Or you didn't watch the part, that's cool. Uh, back in part 3, I was sucking so bad at the Sky Chase one, and for me, that, whether, whether it's playing on, like, an actual TV or the computer screen, which I'm doing right now. I like during my more recent playthroughs, I start to like suck at the m suck more than I don't get what suck more than that sounds. That sounds correct. <laughs> uh, I start to suck more and more at this. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't practice that enough. I don't know. But I remember like a lot during my well, what the heck was that? What the heck was that? I could sworn that did something, but yeah, it probably did nothing. Uh, but I could swear I like played like during my first playthrough of this game, like so many years ago. I when I first had this game, I I practiced like more a lot, like a lot, a lot more. I played a lot more of this game than any other thing than any other like Sonic game at the time. So I think there was a, it was like around 2009 or 2010, I think. It's probably like 2009 because 2009 was when I got my Xbox 360, or my first 360, not the one, not the one I'm using right now. And uh, yeah, I played this game a lot more. Well, not just because of the fact that I had that my Xbox 360 came pre-installed with like all sorts of cool music or whatever. It was a used one and uh, stuff. But here's the thing: I was actually a lot better at this. I wasn't dying. I wasn't dying so much at, not just the Warhawk stages, but, uh, I wasn't dying so much at, uh, any other stage as well. That's the effect of age, you know, 
probably the effect of age on a game. You haven't played this for, like, months and you start to suck at it automatically even though you just played it this past summer. Because, I don't know, you got really bored at it, you know? <laughs> but, uh, that's the thing. I'm starting to suck more and more at this game and I don't know why. It's because I'm talking and I need to get that lever, by the way. Hmm. I don't know, it's probably just me. I don't know, maybe I need to concentrate more. Yeah. <laughs> and I was actually right to pull on that lever because that pulled out a little bit of a swingy thingy. Yes. So I gotta have to go up here in order to do this. And to keep on going up here. And I do believe up here is a yep, there's a Titan right there. There's a Titan. It's a Titan. I should probably stop saying this before I get too redundant with myself. Right, so... This one is... It's... I believe it's tougher than all the other ones that I've had to face so far. At least I'm alone this time on that. And it's been actually a long time since we last faced one of these. Really. So... In case you forgot how to take care of these guys... Let me refresh your memory. Basically just beat the crap out of it. You know, like like a standard, ordinary subspace emissary boss, or any Kirby boss in general. <laughs> yeah, just beat it like any other Kirby boss. And be sure, if you want to unleash a critical attack and finish this quickly, just make sure you get its health to a really low level, so you can have more time to unleash your critical attacks. And I think with a few more hits, this should be good. Alright, X. X. B. All right, slam! Yes! And of course you need to defeat that thing because, well, not only do you get a, like a lot of experience from it, you also get that thing, you also get that stone you need in order to progress on more further. Of course. I mean, why else wouldn't you get a stone thingy or whatever? Anyway, it doesn't look like there's a metal anywhere here doesn't look like it. Nope. No such metal here. Thankfully, you don't have to climb down in order to get the stone onto the thing. You just need to jump down and then drop it here. Thankfully. At least that's a thing that'll happen. Alright. So we go here, and I think there's... A no, there isn't. Yeah, I'm trying to look for metals while doing a level. That's... That's... Great. It's great, Sonic Unleash. You you make me want to do levels more and more as the Warhog, do you? And of course, I really hate these things because they shoot the bullets. They shoot the bullets, and he's fly he's floating in midair. How does he do that? And of course, just in case you somehow die at this section, there's an extra life here. Why would you ever miss this? <laughs> Thankfully, this. Thankfully, this is a bit of a thing that's happening with this game, is that, uh, that, uh, go again, lives do respawn in this game, even if you die, so thank God there's that. And also, don't thank God for these, uh, things that will kill you. And I like how they make a sound effect. It's like, the, it's like the no, it's like the game knows it's in a cartoon or something, which it is. And it's still a very good-looking cartoon. In fact, speaking of cartoon, I can't believe I did not mention this before. Which I probably should have right now. <laughs> which I probably should have at the moment. Is the fact that in order to promote, to promote Sonic Unleashed, there was actually a little bit of a cartoon. That I will link in an annotation right now. The cartoon is called Night at the Werehog. And it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, remind, reminds me a lot of a Pixar short. I mean, everybody knows that at this point. Like, the short really does look like a Pixar sh a short that Pixar made. Basically put uh, Sonic and Chip go, to, go into a haunted house or something like that. And, of course, there's these classic, you know, skinny guy, fat guy ghosts trying to impress a girl by taking photos. Yeah. It's, it's weird, but it's funny. <laughs> It's actually really good. You should you should actually go check it out. It's actually really, really good. There's no talking in it either. Pretty much just like Pixar shorts. So, 
yeah, if you're really into that sort of thing, go ahead and check it out. It's actually really good. It's really good if a Pixar short. Actually. <laughs> I know it's not a Pixar short, but bear with me, it isn't. <laughs> but basically, it is akin to a Pixar short. But, either way. Uh, let's see. We have to do this thing, and there's a moon metal right here, so we might as well go get that. Hooray. And, of course, there are poles. And no, don't you dare jump off of that thing. You know how I don't like that. Yeah, you know how I don't like that game. That thing dis that thing about that thing disgusts me, game. <laughs> but regardless of which, uh, we have a little bit of a puzzle here. But before we even do that, there's this right here. You have to go, wait. Oh, I hate what a camera should... Yeah, that's the thing about that's that's kind of like a problem with the Warhog is or the some of the Warhog levels is that like the camera shifts like really weird at some points. Like it's understandable that a camera is well kind of sort of not good in 3D Sonic games and even like even like back in the earlier days of uh, Sonic Adventure. Even blah, 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 what am I trying to say? I can't get my tongue tied at this point. I shouldn't. But I have, but I did apparently. Um, yeah, even in like the earlier 3D Sonic games, like Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, sometimes the camera wasn't really the best in the world. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. As much as I like those games, sometimes the camera sucks. And sometimes, you know, like this situation sucks, where you have multiple enemies ganging up on you, and you have no way to friggin' keep yourself invincible because of the fact. Because of the simple fact that you don't have invincibility frames. Like seriously, there is there are enemies here kicking my ass, and I don't have any invincibility frames to deal with. It's kinda lame. It's kinda lame, you know? It's it's, it's lame. Or regardless of which I gotta keep my I gotta keep my things up for whatever is and why can't I punch you? Come on! Let me let me freaking punch you. Okay, okay. Now I can get my critical attack on. I can get it on! Yes! That's what I'm talking about, yo! Anyway. Uh, before I get more sidetracked with things that I probably shouldn't mention. Uh, I think... Uh, wait, how do I reach up there? Uh, can I reach up? No. Of course I can't. Uh, that kind of leads, leads us to this box right here. Uh, this box. What you have to do in order to get this sun metal is you have to push, you have to pull the box all the way over to where the uh, square is that you see right before you, right there. And then you basically gotta do whatever to jump up there and then get it. Like this. I said, like this. Dang it. Thank you. But that's not all you can do with the box. Uh, before the required usage of it, anyway. Uh,. You want to go ahead and push the box all the way over to here. So that you'll be able to get up there. Where it's pretty much assured that you have both the sun and moon metal up there, I believe. I believe so. Yeah, there's a moon metal right there. And, uh... There's another thing right here. And actually, it's an art book. Alright, cool. So that's basically your way of getting another moon medal. But regardless of which, now we gotta take the box to its required purpose. We gotta take the box to its required purpose. And I had to move the right stick with my, uh, the camera stick with my, uh, chin. Because why not? This is all that's gonna be this video. Just, just a, just a werehog level. Well, too bad. You're gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> You're gonna have to deal with it. Because this is Sonic Unleashed, goddammit. This is Sonic Unleashed, and 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 you're not and you're not expecting anything otherwise. Except no substitutes. You're gonna have to do this. But anyway, with that box, you can now open up this. And wait, shouldn't there be a thing? Uh apparently not. Which is just another lever. And apparently you need to do that level in order to do the th level level that that. that. Don't even question my ideals of not talking, dang it. 
I can't talk it for my life, and that's all I will say about that. And that's all I have to say about that. I need to watch more Forest Grump. Such a good movie. Uh, anyway. Uh, now for the last thing. Oh boy. We got another one of these things. Yay. Now we gotta kick his ass. And of course the music isn't playing? Hello? Yeah, sometimes that happens. Okay, now, now it did. It just took the music a, a bit to load, guys. Yeah, it did. It really did. Ow. Yeah, the knockback on this thing is mean, by the way. So there is a potential chance that you could potentially fall off the thing because of the stupid knockback of this thing. Yeah, even the shield doesn't help you. Yeah, the shield does nothing. Yeah, dude. Wouldn't it be awesome if the Warhog was voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger? Because that would make this game a whole lot more viable. Or viable. Uh, marketable. Yeah. Marketable. X. B. B. Alright. Boom! And that's it. That's pretty much to hold the level as it is. Okay. So, anyway. Now I have to get these rings because, of course, ring bonuses count. I'm so anal about that, like I was in Sonic 06, but apparently I wasn't. Apparently I'm playing this game a lot better than I am with, uh, with, uh, Sonic 06, and that's saying something really stupid. Yeah, by the way, get that Moo Metal, because that Moo Metal is mean. Yeah. Well, at least I got an S rank. Thank God. <laughs> So anyway, we have 23 of these. Holy crap. So let's go ahead and upgrade our combat a bit more. Because we need, we seriously need more skills for this. Also, yes, hi. We don't need any more moon medals at this point, but we, but we do need more sun medals. Yeah. We do. We need 24 more of this. Thank. Wow. Just, I can't. I don't even know. I don't. So we might as well upgrade our combat at least once more. Sure. But anyway, that level's done, thank God! <laughs> and I don't think we can do anything yet with, uh... Uh, I can't even know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't know. Also, I don't think we can go over to a Skyscraper Scamper Day yet. I don't think so. So, why don't we just go ahead and switch to daytime before we do so. Birds! <laughs> okay, so I don't think we can go through... Uh, no, we can't. Nope, not yet. Nope. I don't know why I'm checking to make sure it isn't there yet, but apparently we can't yet. Nope. Nope, we cannot. But anyway, uh, as I keep through running through everything with everything. Uh, so now that we have uh, that done and we haven't found anything, I guess the only other option that we can do for now is to return to Shamar, and we should do so right now before I do something really bad. <laughs> yeah, before I do something really bad. That sounds... That sounds... That sounds... That sounds... Good to do. Okay, so I'll go over to the professor's lab thingy or whatever. As is the norm with finding out nothing, why don't we just do it? Can I ask you to take a look around Shamar? I'm sure you'll find your way around. A trip to the entrance can't hurt. Well, a trip to the entrance can't hurt indeed, but... Shamar is literally the only place that we can go to right now, so why don't we just go ahead and just go... Over to a place where we can go over to Shamar. In fact, we're already in Shamar. In fact, I'm not making any sense on my I might as well just stop the episode here before I forget to do so. Anyway, next time on Let's Play Sonic Unleashed, we're going to explore around Shamar, actually. In order to find clues. So, I shall see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.